Hear me? Yeah. Fine. Okay. All right. Cool thing. We're gonna get. We're gonna get started. Okay, guys, thanks for coming over. My name is Hassan. This is Mehdi. I'm a senior technologist and I work on VMware Cloud Solutions overall. Mehdi is in charge of all of our VMware Cloud service and business in the Metna region, okay? Well, we have 20 minutes together to tell you about what we're doing to help customers migrate to the cloud, okay? With Mehdi, we thought that the best way to uh, make it very practical is to illustrate the talk by taking a, a customer example. We cannot put a name on it. It's a fictional example, but this is based on numerous conversations we're having every day with our customers. This is a bestseller topic. We have all of our customers coming to us and saying, guys, we need to migrate to the cloud. There's plenty of opportunity for this. How can we do this? We've taken this example out of the real customer situation, banking and financial industry. There's a size, there's a number of people, staff, revenue, this is really based on a customer. We called it Acme for now, okay? So in 2021, Acme, like most of the corporations out there, no matter the vertical, public sector, um, um, industry, uh, automation, uh, retail, they all have a mandate to migrate to the cloud, okay? Generally, it's something that is dumped top down on the CIO desk to say, guys, strategic direction from a business perspective is to migrate to a public cloud. There are many, many drivers for this, okay? Innovation, speed, flexibility, et cetera, et cetera. And what we see with our customers is when they don't have it, when they have it, we recommend it also as a best practice to first follow the logic around the application portfolio and overall application assessment. And the outcome of this will actually dictate the strategy to the cloud. Cloud is not an end by itself, it's a means to an end. So Acme would run by themselves or with partners, a full application assessment. They will analyze the existing apps, what they want to do with these apps for the future. There are a couple of strategies that will uh, dictate the uh, future of these apps. Keep the apps, retire them, migrate them, modernize them, uh, keep them as is, et cetera, et cetera. Build a decision-making model and agree on a strategy for that. And once the enterprise, the corporation, the company is clear about the future of their application portfolio, they can start to devise an overall cloud migration and cloud adoption strategy. So oftentimes, after a while, and this assessment can be a month long, can be six months long, it's generally an iterative process. The CIO that has this mandate to migrate to the cloud will ask his teams to basically lay out a plan. In 2021, everybody will agree that the future state, the target of cloud architecture is a hybrid one, is a multi-cloud one. So just to redefine what that is, because there's been some confusion in the market, a multi-cloud target architecture is a situation where we have multiple different deployments of applications and resources scattered between the own private cloud that the company owns and multiple different clouds out there, okay? The choice of the cloud uh, the reasons for picking cloud one versus cloud two, et cetera, et cetera, is based on the service, the best of breed selection of the process, the strategy, the cost, uh, regulation, data locality, et cetera, et cetera. And then they will start lay out a theoretical plan for adoption. I want to migrate 15% of my applications by end of 2021, another 30% by mid 2022 and so on and so forth, okay? So they come up with a theoretical agenda migrating to the cloud with the targeted state being a hybrid. And then they start incorporating migration strategies. They start laying out the technical methodology to migrate to the cloud. So this is where you find some common methodologies where we're seeing across the industry, things that you've heard about, such as a lift and shift. You've heard about lift and shift. Transform and move, rip and replace. Again, whether you're VMware, you're Google, you're Gartner, the term will change slightly, but the idea is I take the application as is, I send it, I take the application, I modernize it first, and then I send it, or I literally retire the application and potentially replace it with a SaaS service, okay? Now the challenge is migrating to the cloud offers a lot of options, but it comes with challenges. 
So we like to put forward not just what we think, but what the industry peers are saying about migrating to the cloud. This is a Gartner slide, and it's a very recent one. A couple of reasons why migrating to cloud is difficult and why migrating to the cloud could, got, could get off track. Budget, much longer, time, cost, lack of skills, uh, poor design, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Migration is one thing, but even when you end in your end state and you've managed to migrate, you also potentially end up with a landscape that is extremely diverse. These public clouds have a lot of commonalities between them, okay? Common concepts, but they have also lots of differences. I've been eight or nine years with VMware now, but since my second tenure, I left in 2018 and worked for Google Cloud myself, helping customers migrate to the cloud. And the first thing they came to me after we've landed an application in the public cloud is, can you help me measure the cost? I need to know how much that costs. I need to have visibility. And once they have visibility, an idea about the cost, they say, can you help me reduce this cost? Can you help me figure out if my security is properly configured? Am I safe? Uh, can, I be, can, I be, can I pass an audit, a compliance, et cetera, et cetera? And then can I automate? And then can I use a consistent tool set to manage all that? So migration is a challenge, but also managing a diverse set of cloud services is also a challenge by itself. We at VMware are tackling these challenges. The ease of migration, the visibility, the cost management, the security governance, the automation, the service integration between these different applications running across different clouds. And uh, with this uh, base picture of a fictional company, the challenges that they face on their journey to the cloud, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it over to Mehdi to explain what we are doing with our solutions to try to solve that, okay? Wait, wait. You hear me? You hear me? Fine. Okay. So here the idea, I mean, all those challenges, generally when we are facing a multi-cloud is something that we will face, not from a technical perspective, but from different point of view. Hassan already made a tour of them. And VMware, when we saw those challenges, we saw in the past we had like an idea of building also a private cloud possibility for the customer leaded by VMware. And then we said, no, I think the strategy would be more interesting to build the possibility for the customer, not just to have one cloud, but the multi-cloud journey, but also in a way that is hybrid cloud. It means that either in the public, on the, on the, uh, on the edge or in the private, it's more or less for us a goal to achieve for anyone, because I think this is the most interesting for us as a customer is to have the ability to run our workloads in the place that we choose without a lot of constraint. And from there, we had in 2017, we created our partnership with, v with AWS and we created what we call VMware Cloud on AWS. It was the first, it was really a momentum in the market because it was the first one that was providing capabilities for any customer who has VMware on his on-prem and is targeting to go to the cloud to you to have this easy migration. Why? Because this is the question. Oh, sorry. Why? For a simple reason is that in this part, we are running VMware technology. Our workloads are running here. And the mic, okay. Okay, fine, fine, come, okay. Um, so here is VMware, and the idea is that we want to target this piece of the puzzle, okay? Which is interesting, it's like a game. So how I can go from this, from this part to this part with not facing all the challenges that already Hassan faced? Because those challenges, I am asking myself, did I need those challenges? My, my, my goal is to go from A to B. Is it more interesting for me to go from A to B or why it is changing like this all the time from A to B or answering in the, in the path to some challenges. So here it's more straightforward. We have VMware here. We have VMware on VMware Cloud on AWS, same technology running on what we call an SDDC, Software Defined Data Center in which we have 
vSphere for the memory and the CPU, uh, CPU vSAN for the storage, NSX for the network side. It is uh, created, uh, it, it, is, it is automated to create what we call an SDDC and ready to absorb our workloads. Then what we will do is as we have the same technology, we will answer to ourselves, okay, I know my point A, I know my point B, what is the tooling that I need to have this? We have a tool included on VMware Cloud on AWS named HCX. The idea of the tooling is straightforward, is we install an appliance in the, on the on-prem side, we connect it to the public side, and we have like roads to migrate. We are able to migrate hundreds of virtual machines within a day. We, we migrate thousands within a week. Why we have this capability of doing that? Because it's the same technology, one. And two, it's because the migration is orchestrated and automated by a tool named HCX, okay? As, for, as soon as I am on VMware Cloud on AWS, it's up to me to see what I need in terms of private cloud journey. It means I, if I want to use the native AWS services, ready to go through this, what we call ENI, there is a technology here in the middle because this solution was co-engineered by VMware and AWS in the same way. It's not only a VMware solution. Uh, uh, and, and, then, and then, so we have these capabilities and there is no traffic limitations or, or costs on this, on this part. Uh, one other point also is that as we have vCenter, so we can have a unified vision between the two, the two parts. So in terms of day two operations, it's something really straightforward and easy. Um, all our uh, development we made in terms of tooling, uh, scripting on our on-prem side, we can redirect it to the VMware Cloud on AWS. Why? Because it's the same vCenter, we have just to use the those APIs, the same API that we have in our uh, on-prem side to use VMware Cloud on AWS. So the solution is automated, maintained, and operated in the level two by VMware. It means that from customer point of view, he will focus only on the VM side. He will deploy his VMs, maintain the VMs, maintain the applications, make a lot of security around this. We have the ability to have micro segmentation with the NSX security, we can set up level seven if we want. The idea is like to focus on workloads and let other work for, uh, for VMware, for VMware and AWS. This slide, it, is, it will summarize how it works. I mean, it, it, he was pushing from the beginning to be there before the, the last slide. But the idea is to explain how we are doing this. So the idea is straightforward. Our on-prem here, our VMware Cloud and AWS SDDC is there. We install HCX, we peer them, and then it's easy. We migrate the VM. We are using vMotion. We can use both migration. There are different capabilities of migrating our workloads to the cloud. And to be honest, it's not science fiction. It's something really cool. And um, we, we met it a lot and tons of times. I mean, the, my last experience is we migrated customers from London to Paris within the weekend. Why we made this due to some constraints for like um, Brexit in, uh, in the European region. And we migrated the workloads from the uh, London region to, v, uh, to uh, VMware Cloud and AWS in Paris within the weekend. It was a platform for test and dev. So developers, they don't know where are the, their workloads running because this is what we call cloud. The idea is just to benefit from the capabilities that we provide and not really dealing with the uh, like connects, connects uh, information that we can, uh, we can face. So this is uh, in a nutshell how we, how we migrate. Then after migrating the VM, we have the, capability, we have the capability of either maintaining the networking. So it means that a VM that is running here and the VM in the same level two segment, they see themselves like running within the same data center or what we can also, we migrate the network. It means that we will transform the gateway from the on-prem side to the public side on VMware Cloud on AWS. And it is really straightforward and easy. And this one is automated and managed by HCX. Okay. So after finishing this stuff, the question we could face is how we can consume in terms of this capabilities and technology, what is the manner that we can set up in terms of modeling? 
how we can use this technology, okay? Instead, and, and when I say technology, I mean the multi-cloud technology. I mean, I want today, I want to use my on-prem. I mean, maybe two weeks or one month or one year after I want to go to the public cloud. So how I can have a model in my procurement and contractual stuff that can follow, that could follow this way. And this, we have what we call VMware Cloud uh, Universal, and it brings the different capabilities, either to run different uh, work, different technologies, VCF for the on-prem side, VMware Cloud and AWS for the public side, VCDR for the DR, this side for the, pub, for the private cloud, and other capabilities like Tenzu for containers and so on, with a high level of technology, okay? So we have the must, the biggest building block in, um, in VMware, yeah. The data transfer? Okay, I will finish with this question uh, ending. Yeah, yeah, okay. I will come to the question just finishing this slide. So all this is will be followed by what we have in VMware 6S 360 there. It's our way of being sure that we consume really the right technology for the right business case. Okay, so the question that I got is how we can be sure or how we can migrate the data, okay? How we are sure about migrating the data. We are using a tool named HCX. Okay, HCX, HCX, you can, all what I am saying here, I will finish with it and I will answer to the question. You can, we can see it in the booth there. Okay, Ahmad is there. We can see all those possibilities and capabilities that you can face. Here is in his image, even in case of you miss him. But the idea how we migrate, so we install appliance, an appliance in the on-prem side. Okay, the question was how we, I can be sure that I am migrating in the right way my data, okay? So HCX there, it's an appliance that we deploy in the on-prem side, we peer it, we peer it with the cloud side and it will manage the migration, okay? We have different capabilities of migration. We can make a vMotion, okay? And the vMotion is not a kind of replication, okay? vMotion, it's a way that we are migrating and at a certain moment, the VM really is in the middle between two, two points and what we call cross, cross vCenter vMotion, we are using this technology. Or we can use what we call a replication. It means that we replicate the data from uh, the on-prem side to the public cloud side with HCX. It is done by HCX. And the last chunk, the last chunk of the data, either we make a vMotion for it, and at that moment we use what we call RAV, RAV replication assisted vMotion, or we can use the bulk side, which is just stopping the VM and rebooting it in the VMware cloud on AWS side. And in that moment, we just replicate the last chain. Okay, did I answer to the question? Excellent. Yeah, exactly. For those who are really interested to have really a look on this technology and to ask deep, deep question on this, on this we have the booth there. All we can make a demo. We can see how we are migrating the VM. We are testing it by a thing. You will, we will speak. You can see how it is migrating and you can see how smooth it is the way of migrating it. Because I mean, to be honest, three years ago when I deal the first time with the technology, I found it like magic, migrating a VM from A to B without taking care about the networking, about the security, about the data. It could be strange. Have a look on it with a lot of pleasure. Thank, yeah, tell me. <laughs> 